All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. It's December 8th, 2022, and kind of disappointed because I haven't been able to upload a video. Tess, Tony, and I, and everybody else were supposed to go to Red Lift, Bakersfield, last weekend, and it got canceled. So I was really looking forward to that content of racing the car and being with them, and unfortunately, did not get a chance to do that. So... Today, the goal is to get the engine out of my mom's Volkswagen Bug. Some of you may or may not like that content, but that's all I got for, for now. That's all I got coming for this next few videos that I'm going to do. Um, but with that being said, I will uh, take you back, let you see kind of what happened up until today. And then when we come back, we'll get working on this bad boy. So <laughs> this is kind of weird. I'm get home from work. My family had some stuff going today and we weren't very happy. And I see this box outside on my patio and it says my brother's name. And then I see somewhere on the box that says Ford Performance with a line through it. And so I'm thinking, why in the heck would my brother send something to my house for with Ford on it? He's a Chevy guy. Turns out, I guess this thing's for <laughs> this sign's for me. Kind of crazy here. Yeah, it's a Ford Performance sign. This thing is wrapped like they're gonna fly it to Mars. Let's see if I can get it out of here with one hand. I have to put the phone down and see if I can get it out. Oh, maybe I get it. Now let me grab it with my other hand. All right, I got it out. It's like they were gonna mail it to Mars, man. Look at all this stuff, but dang, fresh unit. That's from my brother, Zach. That is awesome. Thank you very much, Zach. That freaking made my year. It's awesome. I like it. All right, you guys, welcome back. It is a uh, Friday, November 18th. Gonna try and get some work on the Falcon done today. However, before I can do that, I have to move that. Get that out of the way because my mother's Volkswagen is coming tomorrow. So I gotta get that out of the way. So I have a, a free area for cars to come in and out. And that way I can push the Falcon up to the front garage. And uh, I also wanna hang this sign from my brother. So, Got a fair amount of work today, but can't get much done until I move the wood. So I'll get the move the wood the wood moved, and then uh, I'll catch back up with you guys after that. <laughs>
All right, y'all. It is Saturday the 19th. I ain't done shit today. Went and got my hair cut, came back, had breakfast. Daughter and I watched something on uh, Netflix and I've been inside all day watching YouTube. So I did mess with one of the fenders yesterday in the back. I'll flip the camera around, I'll show you, but my mom is on her way with the bug. So I'm gonna have to push the Falcon up front and leave it up there until I get this bug done. I don't anticipate the bug being much. That's a clutch, a few little easy things like that. So I'll flip the camera around, show you what I got, and then we're pushing this bad boy up into the front garage. So this is the little piece that I made to fill that in. Um, tr trying to weld to this, I don't know, it's just, it's, my welder's on the lowest setting and it's just blowing right through it. So it kind of looks like crap because I've had to build it up and go slow, but uh, once once I get some seam sealer or whatever on there, you ain't gonna really tell much. I wanted to start on this panel today that goes right here. Maybe do some more welding, get this little piece done and some of the pieces up there, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> Sometimes, man, you just gotta be lazy and lay on the couch and get fat. I'm gonna clean this inside of this car out and then uh, I have to have my daughter's the only one here, so it's gonna be her and I pushing this thing up front. All right, I'm gonna push and sis is gonna drive. Steer. So I'll just get you out there close to the gate and then I'll stop the car. In fact, Park it in the street. Hold on to it. All right, now start turning the wheel the other way. The other way. Yeah. Just slowly though. There you go. That's good. No, no brakes. I got it. Vinny, stay. Okay, so we're gonna go where the where the focus has been going. Okay. Yeah. Try to get it over more as you can towards the wall. Sure. Now straighten it out. Good job. Yeah. You can just put it in the lift bay. Okay. Just go nice and slow. Yeah, I keep 
Del Mar. That's probably good. So here you have it. Uh, I'll show you the bug. It's my mom and my stepdad's 70, I don't know, Super Beetle, one, two, 69. I have no idea. 1970. So uh, it, this will be on the channel, me working on this, putting the clutch, doing a few things to it. So I know that's not what you guys are on my channel for, but you know, I'm just trying to be like Bill over there at uh, the old man's garage and just show everything. So, this is the, the buggy. Kind of clean. I used to have one of these. Actually, my first car was a 59 Volkswagen Bug. This one's obviously a little bit different. Different front end setup. But they're all kind of the same thing. So, uh, stepdad's wanting to clean up the dog houses so that it looks presentable wants to lose the heater tubes um clutch and it needs a clutch and a throw out bearing and he ordered all the stuff here so he's got some new exhaust for it and whatnot so i'll get cranking on this probably later in the week um like i told you before ain't done really anything all day felt kind of good actually i feel like all i do is go 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 so um, sometimes you just got to relax and that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go inside, uh, the wife's cooking dinner and I'm going to call it an early Saturday night and chill. So I'll catch up with you guys in the next couple days when we get cranking on this bug. All right, you guys, so thanks for catching up. While you were catching up, I went ahead and soaked everything on this old buggy um, that I'm gonna take apart with some Sealy Croil. And we're gonna get it cranking. Uh, I'm just gonna get you on a time lapse for the first part of this because a lot of this stuff is tedious. And to be honest, uh, my first car was a Volkswagen Bug. It probably taught me and my two friends about cars more than their Mustang or their El Camino just because it was braking all the time. I always had brake problems and this, that, and the other. So some of this stuff isn't as, as fresh in my mind as it could be. I got my bug in probably 1995. <clears throat> and I don't, I might've sold it in 99 or something like that, 98, I, I don't remember. But it's been a long time since I worked on one of these things. So rather than seeing you f watch me fumble with everything, um, just a 
quick little time lapse so I can get this thing cranking. <laughs> This reminds me of why I stopped owning a Volkswagen. Two broken studs. Actually got these off. But I want to be able to pull this front exhaust off this deal so that when I drop the engine out, there's adequate space. And Volkswagens. Everything's so damn rusty. Everything's so rusty, it just breaks off. See? It just breaks. See if we can't snap another one off. Oh yeah, bruh. Snapperoni. Snapperoni number two. I haven't soaked this stuff real good with silly coil, but it's been on here for so long. My stepfather said that this was overhauled at some point in his life. Oh, that one's turning, so maybe we'll have luck here. Oh no, she's she's strippy, rap. A little strippy. Nope, stripped. Nope. So that one's a no-go. This one turns, so this one's this one too. This one's trippy too. Nice. Nice and strippy.
See if we can drill these son of bitches. He's going to trash. hardened or something. it wants to spin while I'm trying to drill it. It's crazy. Nothing wants to bite, but the little eighth inch bit bit. Again. For the metal, I guess.
can grab this damn thing. Should, should allow us. Everything's rusty.
So this deal's out. This damn thing is hard as a rock. I mean, hard. Hard as a rock. And that's what was hanging up on the tins and just not screwing with me. And I had the jack in the wrong place. And it was only me. So I think my stepdad needs to get a new one of them gaskets. But she is out. We got to change the throw out bearing in this deal. Uh, pretty easy. And the clutch will clean all that stuff up. And once we get the flywheel off, we'll see if it's the rear mains leaking or oftentimes the oil core leaks. Although it looks pretty dry, so it's probably the rear main seal. Um, we're losing these freaking header or these heater tube things, which is going to make it so much easier on us. But she's out. All right, you guys, that'll do it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one where we're gonna take the tins off of this thing, see if we can fix those studs that I broke off and probably once this, the tins are uh, on, get it back in there.